Hello friends, welcome to another video. Again, today's video is based on a, a community um, post on a community forum. Let me walk through the question and then we will look into the solution. Um, so here it is, um, the user asked, disable slicer based on another slicer selection. Uh, uh, there is no a disabling option available in Power BI like for visualization. Uh, dynamically, we cannot do that. But I provided an alternate solution to, to solve this. So let's look at the question. So user has like this option by month selection by year to date selection. So two selection and then uh, there is a slicer for year and then there is a slicer for uh, date or month. Uh, and so the question is like if a month is selected in here and then this should the year will be uh, supposed to be disabled and the only selection should be by month. And if year is selected, the, the selection user should be able to select a year but not the month. So let's see how we can do this. I'm going to jump into Power BI. So what I, I did the same thing and just to uh, showcase, I have a filter uh, slicer, which is by month by year. And then I put it from my calendar table. I put a year in a, in a table visual uh, with the, uh, these my years, which I created. I will show you what these my years are. So I created two my years. One is filter by year. So it's pretty straightforward uh, my year. It's comparing uh, filter by year my year is if selected value in filter table, uh, there is a filter table and the column is also called filter. And if the value is by year, so it means if the selected value is by year, so it will return true or false. So we can convert true and false into the number value. So I, um, I will tell you why I convert it into um, a number. So if it's a false, by converting it, changing it to integer, it will return zero. If it's true, it will return one. Similarly, I have another uh, measure which is filter by month, exactly the same. So again, what we're doing is checking the selected value is if it is by month, then converting it. If it's true, it will be one. If it is uh, not equal to month by month, then it will be zero. So as we can uh, see in here, I drop those measure, uh, measures in these table visual here, uh, filter by year and filter by month. So right now by year is selected and then we see one in uh, filter by year because that's what we said, compare by year and then converting into it's a true basically. And here we are showing filter by month because that is turning zero. And the reason is because by year is selected. So this is true and this is false. So if I select another option, now uh, by filter by year is uh, false. So that's why it's zero and filter by month is true and that's why this is one. So this is a, a first uh, step we created those measures. So now I have those slicers in there, like a year slicer, again, using um, 2021, and then I also have the month slicer. So what I did is on these sli slicers, I used a, a, a visual level filter. So I said, uh, show the items in this slicer if the filter by year, uh, my year value is one. And similarly on the month, I said, okay, show me the items in this, um, this slicer uh, drop down list. If the filter by uh, month, this is supposed to be filter by month is one. So not filter by year, it should be filter by month is one. And then, so now, um, as I mentioned, I converted true and false to integer because when you're using the visual level filter, you don't have the option here to choose true or false. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, so that we can use uh, um, one or zero on, on the visual level filter. So that's why I'm converting the true and false to one and zero. So that was the reason. So now if you see, now I have a by month selected. So now my month slicer has all the options and my year option, because we cannot disable, but we can basically, in, in other words, we're hiding the uh, selection. Um, so uh, now the user cannot select a year. And if I go by year, and now the year is being uh, listed and uh, month is uh, disabled. And you can see uh, we can now have the month selection. 
Uh, one thing I just want to warn here, let's see if I select 2021 and I switch to by month. And now the month selection is, is uh, available, but the year what is already selected, this is the default behavior of how the slicers work. If the item is already selected and that item is not now part of the list, it will still show up in there. There is unfortunately no solution for this. This is how slicers work. And uh, um, until uh, if I uncheck this, and now that selection will disappear. It's not a, a, a great solution. Uh, like if you have already some selection made in a slicer, and then you switch to a different uh, selection method, uh, all the selected item will be uh, already selected there, and they will show up in the list. Even uh, even then, let's say if I go here, I select January. February, maybe multiple I select. Uh, I select three months and then I switch to by year. And now um, I have the selection available for by, by year. But if I go to month, even those three items listed here, but if as soon as I click one of those, they all will disappear. I mean, it, it's just a user training. Basically, we cannot disable the slicers. And or, as a matter of fact, any of the visual, uh, but this is an alternate solution. Um, let me know what you guys think. It's a very small thing, but uh, maybe it is useful in your scenario. Some way you might find it uh, how to use it. And again, uh, I showed you how you can use a visual level filter. If you're returning to and false, you can use the INT uh, basically converting into one or zero. Or you, there is a convert function as well, which you can use to convert. Um, Anyway, have a great weekend. Uh, this video is going to come on Sunday. Right now it is Saturday here at my place and going to have more videos in coming days. Uh, do subscribe my channel. Until next video, have a great weekend. Enjoy your Sunday. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.